Hello everyone, RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more Virtue's Last Reward. In the previous video, we saw kind of not really an end to, um, very check the flow, but we got another roadblock. Keep getting roadblocked. We were open, but then we got roadblocked. But this was a de definite end. I feel like all these are ends right here. All the ones that don't have anything afterwards are ends. And this one for sure will be an end too once we find out we find something out. But for now, we went through the red door and now it looks like we're going to go through a different door. So I'm going to steal no. No. That's not okay. Why not? Because. Oh no, this is bad. Which door do you want then? The only other choices are A and C. How about it again? I went with A, and Luna and I will be paired up with Clover, and we go through the green door, which is what I want to do. On the other hand, if I chose C, we'd be going through the, set, the blue door with Alice. So which one did I want? It's gotta go with... Oh! Let's go with Clover. On option A. We'll take Clover and go through the green door. What gives you the power to just decide that? That's fine by me. Like I said before, there's something I want to talk to Alice about. Are you going to tell me what this thing is? That'll have to wait. Talk to me again on the other side. Oh! Now I'm curious. So you're fine with this, Alice? With option A, I mean? Do whatever you want. I don't care. Are there any other objections? Okay, that's it then. Let's go, everybody. I mean, Ten seconds she probably would object to like, no, I'm not doing that, closed. so. Nine, eight, seven. The only idea on Alice head towards the red door while K for I head to the other one. The gapping maw of the green door bounced in front of me as Clover, Luna, and I ran towards it. Two, one, zero. Hmm. Chromatic doors closing. Okay, well, we're not gonna get an option here. I'm quite curious to what. Dead end? All three doors seem to be locked. I think I heard Clover's voice actress just recently. There's some kind of device over here. I wonder what it is. Hmm. It looks like the thing next I'll to the number nine door. Here. Clover, try pulling that lever. Why do I have to do it? Might be dangerous. I was hoping you could just wrap your hands around it and give it a good jerk. It's kind of big, but I assume you can handle it. Just be gentle. Oh my god. Uh, this doesn't seem like appropriate workplace behavior. You're kind of grossing me out. I know you probably still think of yourself as just a girl, but you have to become a woman some- Oh my god, Sigma. Be fucking serious. You're not making it any better. No, Why don't you do not. it? If you can't take it, then maybe Luna can. Make your way up and then give it a good tug once you get to the top. What the fuck, Sigma? What? What is wrong with you? If 
you're so desperate to give that lever a good time, why don't you do it yourself? Just leave me and Luna out of your sick fantasies, you creep. Hmm. Fine. So I'd heavily flip the switch with as much liquid disdain as I can manage. I'm... Ugh. As far as vision... Oh. Oh. One of the doors opened. Yeah. Just the one on the left. Hmm. We might as well go through it. Maybe we should try flipping it once more time, though. I think you could actually manage with just one hand, Clover. Oh my god. Just do it real fast. It'll only take a second. It's up and down once. Oh my god. Ugh, you are disgusting. See, okay, yeah, I saw right there. That's a treatment center at first, but now we're on the way to the archives, which is strange. So this is the archives. That's what it said on the door after all, but... Yeah, I didn't really expect it to be so archivey. All these books and stuff everywhere. Maybe we could find some clues here. I agree. All right, let's split up and have a look around. What the fuck did he just say afterwards? Aliones? God damn, Sigma is such a giant perv. Well, what the fuck is this thing? What is this? Looks like some kind of chart. It says magnet ma mana management number. What do you think it means? Well, probably much the only thing anyone's gonna manage in this room is books. It's got the letters A, B, C, and D, and then numbers one through eight running vertically. Maybe it's referring to the bookshelves in front of us? Hmm. Well, the bookshelf has eight rows. And so that's this chart. There's a narrow bookshelf on either side. The latter one's in the middle. Yes, they're shaped just like the diagrams on the chart. Okay. There's a bike lock on this door box. Don't think we'll be able to force it open, but no harm in trying. Nope. Well, I didn't think that'll work. I guess we'll have to open the lock if we want to open the box. Uh, well, did you see that die on top? Oh. Oh, yeah, that is totally a die. A green die? Nothing up my sleeve. You're not making it sound any less suspicious. Oh, well, it's perfectly ordinary. Am oh, I supposed to take five? Five times five plus five, which is thirty? No, that doesn't work. Hmm. There's a line up there. Isn't there something up there? What is that? I can't see from down here. This book was just, oh. One of these things is not like the others. One of these things just doesn't belong. Alright, it's a different color. Let's have a look at it. Nice blue hardcover book. Guess the tile is the stairway. Hey, there's something written on the back of the cover of this book. The back of the book says go up A0502. I'm writing that down. Hmm. So, oh five, oh two. Maybe we should take it with us. 
Tile is go up. And this one too. On the back it says the stairway. B0630. And the other one said... Oh, go up has to go on a fifth shelf. Second slot. Plus one, two, four, five, four, out. How's it going? Stairway has to go on 6:30. So would the stairway go here, or can I? Oh. No. It's not about this match. The next three to the sun. And a lion. D O five O O seven O three. There has to be at least one more in here somewhere, huh? Is the stairway. Let's go on 630 and B. Let's go one, two, three, four, six. So I just go here. So I just put them. Ah, here we are. And the lion. C18. the other side of the wall. No, that wasn't the wall. I think it came from the bookshelf. What's happening? It sunk. I guess it was one of those trick bookshelves. Where if you put the right thing in the right place, it does stuff. It's like a staircase. Well, if they were nice enough to give us stairs, guess we should climb them. The top is a lot more narrow than I thought. Should I go? Well, with a big scare like that, it might get kind of dangerous. Oh, if I just hike it up, I sh think I should be... And, uh, I think there's somebody down on all fours trying... And, um, I think there's somebody down on all fours trying not to look like he's staring up towards the bookshelf. Sigma? What are you doing? I, uh, lost the contact. Don't wear any. Ow. You climb. Okay. Uh, that's all? Okay, that's the only thing that's up here. So I might as well take it. Huh? I can't really go any further. This is a dead end. Are you done yet? Was there anything up there? Yeah, I'm heading back down now. So? Did you find anything? No puzzles or anything like that. Just that stuffed animal? Yeah. Okay, well. Let's check out this dice. Oh. 
music box. There's no music coming from this music box. I guess it's just a box. I don't see a spring. Maybe we should check the movement. The movement? Sorry, movement means the internal piece that actually makes it work. Like the cylinder here. Unfortunately, it looks like it's been fixed in place with a Phillips screw. There are some faint lines on this paper. Oh, it must be notebook paper. I don't see any notes on it, though. Ink. Well, I guess the mystery of the dark blue liquid was easier to solve than I thought. This looks like the sort of ink you'd use with a dip pen, but... I don't remember seeing anything like that. And again, I suppose you could use it for a lot of different things. Like this! Or not. Huh. Can I combine these two things? Nope, okay. Is there anything else on that shelf? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything underneath it either. Oh my god. Glover, don't move. Huh? Is there something wrong? Something this in magazines. Life, and from behind, no less. What's going on? I'm coming back out. Okay. Man, that was good. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Just thinking out loud. Jesus Christ, Sigma. This is a bound scale. We can weigh things against each other with it. Says 5G. Guess this is its weight? Yes, I think you usually use weights like this to weigh things. But I suppose you can do other things with it. You put... If you put it in a snowball, you could get a little extra oomph. That's not what I meant. Pull things on both sides, you could compare them, but... Do you actually have anything to weigh? Well, scale had a die and a weight on it when we found it. We got three dice. I think we should be able to figure out what they weigh using this weight. Okay. Is it that important to figure out how much they weigh? Okay, so the green dice is heavier than this. I'm going to guess the blue dice is lighter and the red's equal. No, okay. Okay, they're equal, so... So that's heavier. So... Green is heavier than blue. Okay, so red equals 50 for sure. Whatever green is next... Blue equals maybe a hundred? Let's see. If blue equals one hundred, then it's only fifty. Okay, well let's Okay, that's a hundred. So Okay, yep, green is a hundred. Okay, so if green is a hundred, so that's one fifty. It's two hundred, right? It's higher than that. So well, that's one hundred. Gonna be heavier, okay. So then blue's 150, okay. to find 
Okay, now. Check out the screw, but. Screw, but all we got was cylinder. Then maybe the cylinder is what's important. Then I add that to the ink. Then I do that to the paper. Now report. Okay. Uh, archive. No. Okay. I don't get it. Whatever, I suppose. Alright, so... Now this... So red is 50. And green, which is 100, so that's 500. Plus 150, that's 650. Wait, hold on, no, I, I fucked that up. Okay, I fucked that up. It's 5,000. Because, you, okay, so. You take 50. Times 100. Zero, 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 five. So that's 5,000. So it's 5,150. It's 5,100. Okay. Let's let's just do my math here on my actual on actual calculator set up in my head. Fifty times one hundred equals five thousand. There's more on here. Or I mean that's what you should be doing. That's what you should be doing. You should in order of whatever it is. You multiply or divide, and then you add and subtract. That's the order of law or whatever with math. But maybe they don't do that into account with this. They might do the actual thing. So, so that I get. So I take 150 plus 100 equals 250 times 50 equals 12,500. Okay, that's probably what it is. You know, that's not how you're supposed to do it. supposed to do it, which would be what green is, which is 100. Take 100 times 50, which is red, you get 5,000. You can take that plus the 150, you get that. So, I don't know. I'll just go back for now. I'm missing here. It's not here. I think you're supposed to put some in it. Not a small hole. What will we put in it? No, we don't need it anymore. Start playing stuff again. Okay. When the scale's active. Okay, so green is 100, right? So that's what. It's red and 50. Yeah, it's 100. And that, that is 50. So that makes red 50. So that's 100. So put 100. 50 over here, 
the blue there. There you go. That means that equals 150. That's 200 plus 150. Actually, I don't think we looked at the line yet. <laughs> that's a funny looking dog. Dog? I'm pretty sure that's a lion. This is a lion? It doesn't really look like one. Nah, that's a lion. Oh, hold on. There's a zipper on its back. Let's see what's inside. Oh, hello. Here you go. This is what was inside the lion. Okay, well, that can be used for this. There's a blue slot in the stand. Let's see what happens. When I put it in there. What's going on here? It's showing the dice? I wonder what this what the puzzle is. Well, there's only one way to find out. Roll the six dice to move them to where they need to go. Which dice you want to move by selecting it. You can roll it vertically or horizontally using the directional button. What am I supposed to do though? No. How much they weigh, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. It has nothing to do with how much they weigh. Then... But What? What am I missing? What am I missing?
a weight has to have some importance to it, right? Otherwise, I don't think they do anything. The weight has some importance. I feel like I'm very close to figuring out if I just find one thing that I have not looked at yet. Okay. Just need to put that in the right spot, I suppose. There we go, unlocked. Good job. Let's open it. Ooh, I wonder if this is someone's diary. Sounds like fun. Nothing on the cover. I wonder what kind of book this is. Let's open it up. I, I can't read it. I think this is Latin. Looks that way. Well, it's not a total loss. There's a bookmark, at least. Mm. Maybe we should take that. Oh. Okay. 
Now let's look at my arguments again. Actually, I'm quite curious. What's this report supposed to be of? Well, so... I need the red on the two and then green, blue, green, blue. That was easy. Yes, did it. Good work, Sigma. That was amazing. The colors changed. Do you think? Let's take a look. Wait, is this? Yes, yeah, the password to the safe. Okay, so I need a five there, a six there, four, two, one, three. So, okay. So, I need five, six, four. Has to be their colors, huh? Then this has to be a two over there. No, no, damn it. So, yeah, that, that okay, so it has to be a five red. So Five red. I've got to write this down right here. That's just kind of strange. All right, so, so I'm gonna make boxes like that. So. Meh. So five R. It goes four blue. No six blue. 6B, 4G, 1 blue, 3G, and 2 red. Maybe I fucked that up the first time. Maybe I accidentally had something else up there. Okay. So red needs to be a five. Perfect. And this needs to be a two. Not so perfect. Okay. Four. 
four. No, this needs to be a one. the one there wants two here three here four here five here no Get it. I have to do this some other time. Uh, so safe. This is a safe, right? Yeah. This is like the ones I saw in the AB room. Like crew quarters. If we enter the right password, it should open up. I think. And what was it? Sun, star, star. Wait, what? That was for the gold? Awesome, it opened. Good job, Sigma. That was for gold. Prisoner's Dilemma. Animator Bomb. Detonator. Cybernetic arm. And this necklace. Three laws of robotic necks. The oath to zero flaw of robotic. Did act in accordance with it. was right of how you get the the proper password you have to make sure the pits are right and they have to be colored that's kind of dumb the red five
Red 2. Careful. Put the blue away. Okay, there's three. Got it. Good job. Excellent work. Um, I think this is a different password. I should have paid attention when it said safe or secret password. Oh well. Star, moon, star. I was confused when it's got shut down. Ha! It opened. Good job. Well done. So, what we got this time? First, a map? It says floor B. What we found in cabin said floor A. So, did the map in the inferno room? And that means floor A must be the top floor, right? We did come down here on the elevator after all. So it would seem. There's more stuff in there. Oh, I know what those are. Yeah, key cards. These ones have moons on them. It must be the moon keys the announcer was talking about then. That means we can play the AB game. We got two, just like with the sun keys. Pair of and I should only need one. But I'll take the other one. So, what's next? A piece of paper. It has something written on it. Here are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not optional. If both parties refuse to vote, then everybody, everybody gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. In other words, we can't all at, at, abstain. We have to vote. Anyway, what else is in there in the safe? Only one thing. A key. Is this the exit key? Looks like it. We can open the door. Oh, awesome. Let's go. I'm glad, like, I hate that I had to use presumably luck for the door. Right now, it says lock. You guys right? I hate that I had to like look up this one, even though I like 
I had the right idea for both the the other password and for that combination. I just it's just all oh, it has to be the first number type thing, but yeah. Can I open the door? Go ahead. I will set. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. You found it. Woo. I'm just so confused. Is there any way that we can go into the... Is there any way that we could end up going into the treatment center? Because... Remember... That's wrong one. Remember, when we went through this way... Kay said they went through the treatment center. And yet we... Went to archives... Or... The control room. That says how many archives I've gotten. Missed all. Missed those. That's because I missed the, uh. I missed something. Okay. Okay, so we have ally or betray. It's gonna happen one of these ways. I'm sure we'll probably get our cold end somewhere along these lines. Okay. Anyway, guys, I'm going to part off here. So. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video. And let me know how big of a pervert you think Sigma is. Because god damn it, he's a giant perv. As always, guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel too. That's in the description below. So let's follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RG King Kid Twitter, are in there too. Well, thank you all so much for watching once again. See you all next time